and welcome back to another story time with me and we're going back to the tales of Blackberry Farm and yeah so sit back relax like I say in all these story time videos and enjoy the story and tonight's story is Ernest Owl starts a new school it was a very good idea. Ernest Owl thought it one night as he sat on a branch of his old oak tree and watched the moon shining down on Blackberry Farm. I will start a school, he hooted softly to himself, and all the little ones at the farm shall come to me, and I will teach them, and everyone will be pleased. So he began to make a list. First of all, there was Mrs Nibble, three little bunnies, Rosie, Posy and Christopher. They were in bed with measles, but they will soon be better. And there was little Martha the lamb and mother's hen, naughty little chick Mary. Mother hen will be very glad, Ernest Alf thought, because I know she wants to be alone to lay some more eggs. That made five altogether. And then Ernest Alf decided to ask George the kitten as well. He found him one evening waiting by the farmhouse door for his supper. If I start a school, George, he began solemnly, will you come? I shall want you to be head boy and see that the others are good. George thought that this would be fun, so he said, Yes, Ernest Al, I will come. The next thing to do was to find a place for the school, and Ernest Al chose a little shed next to the stable where Emily the goat lived. That would be very useful, he told himself, because Emily can provide milk for the little ones, and in the morning, and, and when he asked Emily, she said she would be very pleased to do it. Little Martha the Lamb was very excited when she heard that she was to go to school. When can I come, Ernest Owl? she bleated. Can I come tomorrow? But Ernest Owl said that the school would not start until he had asked Lucy Mouse to clean the shed for them. The next day, Lucy Mouse started work. She swept and she dusted and she tidied, and by the evening, everything was spotless. Ernest was delighted, and George the kitten helped to arrange some old boxes as tables and some plant pots as stools ready for the lessons. At nine o'clock the next morning, Ernest Owl opened the door of his school and took his place at the teacher's table and waited. First of all, there was Mrs Nibble, who hurried up with her three little bunnies, and they sat in the front because they were the youngest. Then Mother Hen bustled with little Mary, and behind her came Martha Lamb. They sat in the next row. Last of all, but very important, came George the kitten, and he sat by himself at the back. Ernest Owl put on a large pair of spectacles and looked down at them. Then he took up a large piece of paper and large pencil. Good morning, everybody, he said. Are you all here? And they all said, yes, Ernest Owl. And he ticked their names off his register. After that, they began their work. The bunnies learned to write R for Rosie, P for Posy and C for Christopher. Mary Hen was taught to count up marbles so that she could tell how many eggs her mother had laid. George and little Martha drew pictures of Blackberry Farm. At 11 o'clock, Ernest Owl rang the bell. You have worked very hard, he hooted. Now we shall stop for a little while. Emily the goat has put some milk for you all outside. Go and find it. And outside on an old bench, they found six mugs of milk, one for each of them. When they had drunk their milk, Annie Style rang the bell again, and they all went back into school. Now you shall sing and dance until it is time to go home, he told them. So they all played Ring a Ring of Roses and sang nursery rhymes until it was time to stop. Then Annie Style opened the door for them to go home. Goodbye, he said. You have all been very good. Come again tomorrow at the same time. So they all said goodbye, and George Kitten said, I think Ernest Owl is very clever. I'm going to like having a school at Ratbury Farm. And they all agreed with him. And that's the end of tonight's So story. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I really like Ratbury Farm. Let me know in the comment section down below what sort of things you want me to do. Like what sort of books you want me to read. I thought this will be a really good idea to share stories. And so far the story times have actually got quite a lot of views. And... Yeah, I'm going to do Happy Families After Blackberry Farm and that sort of thing. And that is actually, that, that is actually one of my favourites. Saturday Blackberry Farm is good as well. You'll see. And yeah. So I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video and I had real fun making it. And enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll see you tomorrow for another story.
Bye.